Welcome to this fast tutorial about getting an Amiga game to work on a PC. This is a Windows 10. And this request was actually from Root Pit. I hope I pronounce it right, else you can just write to me how to say it or pronounce it the right way. I'm Medican and I will just show you how to make this tutorial quite fast. I already opened the page. I'm using Internet Explorer. It doesn't matter. You can use Edge, you can use Google Chrome, Firefox, doesn't matter. This is just to download the, um, the program. Uh, I really like to use the WinUAE. I have used that for 15, 20 years. I have an old Amiga in, uh, in the basement, so uh, that's a good way to go through. I really like the Amiga games, especially an old game. And what would Nit uh, Pit really want me to uh, to play uh, and to show how to play is the game called Bandy Kings of Aiden China. I've played that two times. I've uploaded two videos uh, in uh, 11.01 and um, I will just show you how you get that game to work. So press on download and if you're using an older version of the uh, of the PC you can just have like a uh, Windows XP even works with this um, and you can also choose older versions if you need that but this is on Windows 10 it doesn't really matter where you, you, you go because it's an emulator so it doesn't really depend on which system you're using and Amiga is quite fast anyway in, on a PC right now so it's really good so you just install it and you run it this is a uh, the version just next and just I have like it already installed but you you will probably get like that just press next 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 and install it where you want to install it um, I have installed mine on my E drive and it looks like this just minimize the page here and it can be a little bit confusing in the beginning. I've used that for this for a long time, 15, 20 years. And the good thing about it is it's really easy now. In the beginning, it was really, really difficult to get everything to work uh, like you wanted to. It took me three days the first time. I really have to set it up. You have to think of everything. I have a lot of games here. That's the games I... Um, I have, and all of them are abandonware. The only thing that is the rum, you uh, you need to have a rum, and uh, there's a lot of pages where you can buy the rum. So, um, but that's the only thing you need to have, and you have to put it in. Go up to the path. You can see here E Amiga ROMs. That's my E drive I installed. It. I just made a folder called Amiga, and then put it into the ROM. And then the Amiga configuration is just standard. Amiga, 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 Amiga. And the good thing about this is you need to set it up. You need to download it from somewhere to get uh, the games. And I use planetemulator.net. So www.planetemu.net uh, for emulator. And then you just choose what computer you have and this is the Amiga I want to show so it's actually on top right here and you have a lot of things here demos everything but the games it's right here and this was Bandit Kings of Aiden China so just press the B and we are just waiting for the Planet EU to to get it to work here yeah there we go and Bandit Kings of Aiden China. Here we go. And there's some different versions. So uh, there's no Bandit King of Aiden China 2. That's it's not there. It's it's really not that. So, um, but I really hope they will make one because I think that's the best game Koei has made. But you can just watch my uh, recordings about that game. This is not about it. And you could just start to uh, you can either got the crack version or the infogram you can just start to uh, press it and then just download it like this and then just save as and get down to the archive and then go back and do it all over again 
the same thing. It will take a little time to load. There you go. And then take disk two. That's two disk. But I've already everything in order here. So let's just go on my Amiga. And I have my uh, games here. And I put them to strategy and Bandy Kings. I have a lot of versions. I even downloaded the, the, the second one, but it doesn't matter really. It's not the second game, it's the same. But I just have all the different and then I have Bandit Safe. But right here, I will just load my configuration so I can show you how it is. And what you do normally, you do not have any configurations at all. You'll just have like a Mega uh, configuration like this on what drive you have it on. So what you are going to do is you are going to set up the CPU. And normally it's just 68,000. That's fine. And normally everything is standard. It should be like this. It's, it's fine. Uh, as standard, you can just see how it is. You can just uh, have it in the background. Chipset on this one, I'm using E and ECS, and you can see that that's an enhanced uh, video and Amiga 500 and later version. Normally, it's OCS, normal, uh, but I just think this is running fine here. And keyboard connected. That's the one, but it's also need to have the mouse. As you can see, uh, he actually asked to play this game uh, using mouse. Advanced chipset, just compatible setting, nothing to do. The ROM you have to get. Uh, so it's important in the path that you set where the ROM is, then it will just scan. You don't have to scan subfolders. You can do that if, it's if you have it on a subfolder, but I just have it in ROM, so it's just easy to get there. Uh, that's the only thing you have to uh, buy. Um, so I'm not sure you have to do that anymore, but yeah, it's a long time ago. So um, I got it. RAM, I've just made a chip. It's like on an Amiga, you had 512K, and you could also get an extra. A slot to have uh, 512. This is a really old game from 1989 or 88. I think it's 88. I can't really remember. I said that in the video. And it's just standard. Don't do anything here. Floppy drive. There we go. I actually have so many saves. I have a true drive. You just go in, activate DF0. That's actually like uh, a disk drive and a disk drive one two and three so it's zero is one and one is two and two three and three is four that's the way the Amiga did uh, had a zero for the first one so and just I just have white protected it because I don't want to write on these disk even that I can just download them again I don't want to do that so you go in and you find where you have downloaded it and it is an ADF so that's the important thing. If it's downloaded in zip, I don't know. It's a long time since I downloaded it. If it's zip or something like that, just um, get it out of the zip folder. But I think it's uh, directly ADF. So and just set it in. And the same with the second one, set it in. And here you can actually create a custom disk. I l needed to have like a uh, safety. It doesn't matter if you call it bandit save, anything. It doesn't really matter that. Just create. You can create a new disk. Um, and you can just call it um, my disk. Like this. My disk. And you can see it saves in ADF. And I could actually just go down and say, yes, I want my disk. Uh, let's see, this one, open, and then you can use that to, uh, to save on. And then I'll just go back and choose my uh, other one. Of course, I need, no, it doesn't matter. I can just show you after that I'm not saving it. and. The thing that's pretty good here, nothing to do with hard drive, you have not anything here. No expansions, nothing, no RGG board, no hardware info, doesn't matter, it's just your computer. 
this is the good thing the display I'm using a um, 24 inch screen and my resolution is 1920 times uh, 1080 and this is the one it's set up for normally and you can choose different ones but I'm choosing 720 times 568 that's because my screen is like that and uh, true buffering horizontal and vertical that's the these two here up and down uh, to just to have it like in a, in a, in a square a different uh, setup for each screen so uh, maybe you have to tangle a little bit with it VGA mode resolution auto switch standard line mode double it's double frames I would just let it stand here a little bit uh, so you can see how I have it and I have uh, parallel up and sound you can see I have enabled the sound I have put it a little bit down it's quite high it's poor so I've just not 100% as is normal if you have sound here then you will actually have the sound of the floppy drive going and nostalgic if you are that type of person you will have that but in my recordings it's not fun or nice that you hear that sound all the time getting people really annoyed about it so I have removed it and uh, just using direct sound and game ports I have Windows mouse and that's actually what my request was to use the mouse and the Amiga is quite good graphic and color so uh, the DOS version I think is in black and white or something like that and keyboard layout standard it's just standard it actually uh, finds it itself mostly I will not say that you have some special setup that you won't find ear ports input ports nothing output ports I've not done anything there it's standard and also here standard everything is standard the last thing I want to show you is the floppy drive back to that the speed of it normally you have like speed of 100 percent compatible or just turbo like Amiga but I've brought it up to 800 why I've done that is because it is quite fast and you can actually do that uh, and then you will get the game to run pretty fast and it's it's a standard data file it's not going to load on the disk drive as it did that time and that was pretty slow uh, for 1.44 megabyte disk so uh, we were quite patient our Amiga guys that time on waiting for the data coming in today it's you can't get it fast enough and so sometimes some of the games won't work with 800 percent but this game will work and after you have set all these up you can go up to the configuration again and you can type the name and you can save it like type in a name here and press save if I press save now I will overwrite it I could also press save as and I can make a new one you can see all the one here I can just say um, bandit kings of agent China and then underscore test and you will see that is right now I could load this and the difference is the disk drive and I can go up and load this one here and you can see my disk was created so um, I could actually start this one and just show you how it is and you just press start and then you should see the the windows opening up like this I'm again using a different screen size than you are maybe using so you need to uh, to do this and it's 800 it's like 800 percent so it's eight times faster but it still takes a little time and you can actually see how much I can just hold the button down and move it downwards you see how much RAM you have like nearly one megabyte just open band underscore A and double click on start and just wait and it will go in quite fine and this is, should be loading 
and it's it is a little slow try to experience and you can try it yourself to go down to uh, standard 100% and see how long it will take to load this game in but when it's in it's quite fast it's just as you can see in my recordings it doesn't matter and you can hear the music in the background you can also see the little demo if you want to that I'll just click on the mouse and just wait a little bit and then um, it comes up but these times in the in the 80s they made really good uh, gameplay games they really thought of the gameplay I, I really like those games maybe because I'm old or nostalgic but the gameplay is really good the graphic is not that good but the Amiga version is much better than the than the PC version and here you go and you can just use the mouse begin game and everything is working like that if you go out of the Amiga emulator press F12 to get out and then just quit reset or restart I quit and then it should be like this I would say thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions if it's if it's too fast made uh, you need to have some things elaborated or need to have some more in uh, understanding about how setting the different up different just write to me and I will on the on the YouTube page or something like that so I will be back with uh, a little bit more comprehensive but many people do not want to use a lot of time to just go through uh, half hour videos but if you really need it I will make them and uh, I hope you can use this and see you next time